I am Daniel Aaron Dilger for Roughly Drafted Magazine. This is the 10th installment of 10 Minutes of iPad, and this segment is looking at whether the iPad should have been built using Mac OS X instead of the iPhone OS. Hi, I'm Mac OS X. <laughs> Hi, I'm an iPhone operating system. Oh, so you're the simple new version of me. Well, actually, we have the same preemptively multitasking brain in our Unix kernel. Oh, that is true. And the same heart and spirit with the same ease of use. But I support an installed base of 30 million Macintoshes. I power an installed base of 75 million iPhone and iPod touches. Wait until the iPad hits. Yeah, but you can't run mouse-oriented apps from the 80s like Microsoft Office and Adobe Creative Suite. So what are you doing on the iPad? The future of computing is all about multi-touch. I was specifically designed to handle that. My interfaces were specifically optimized for intuitive touch interface. I just saw Avatar. I don't remember a mouse being anywhere. But I can handle far higher resolutions, multiple 30-inch screens with 2560 by 1600 resolution. The iPad's multi-touch interface lets you do more, more intuitively, all within a small screen. Face it, your UI looks terrible. <clears throat> your UI looks terrible in a 10 by 7 screen. And how much RAM do you need? Well, I like at least 4 gigs, but I'll take whatever you can give me. I might have a big hard drive. <laughs> How big? I'm designed to work with less than a gig, and I don't need your big hard drive. I work well with 60 to 64 gigs of flash RAM. But what about all those lowest common denominator platforms like Sun Java and Adobe Flash and Microsoft Silverlight? I can run those, and you can't. None of those deliver a great experience, if you know what I mean particularly in the area of multi-touch. Flash and Silverlight are oriented towards simple apps that can run in a PC browser. My native apps are all specifically designed to run in an advanced multi-touch environment. So wait, you offer everything I do and you're more attractive to developers? Well, I guess that makes you a no-brainer on the iPad. Does that mean you're also taking over the Mac? Oh no, baby, you're still better at the heavy lifting with your Unix command line and your installed base of desktop apps where mouse and menu bars make sense. I'm just better at mobility. You can take me anywhere. 